So usually I'm in another room doing these type of reviews, but today, well, let's just put it this way. I just don't have the energy to stand up today. So we're going to do it from here. And we're going to talk about Coex, PLA, this beautiful mystery role I got from the hedge attack. So let's talk about it. I'll tell you my what my thoughts are. So stay tuned. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Canadian Maker Project. My name is Ron. Once again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate everyone that comes in. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much. If you're a long-time listener, long-time viewer, thank you so much for coming in also. So today I want to talk to you about this new filament that was sent to me. Thank you to the Edge of Tech and Robbie Mack and Mr. Buttram for being involved in this. So I was running low on filament, and I kind of mentioned I was running low. Edge of Tech decided to have some fun and sent me a roll of filament from Coex. This is a Coex PLA mystery spool. Now, when I received the box, I was not expecting to receive that much. And I received that much. Um, but right now, I just went on the Coex website that I'm looking at right now. So let's show you what I see. And the Coex filament is on for $13. How can you not go wrong with that? So if you need some mystery filament, go ahead. And this is transition rules. So what that means is when a rule is done and they're just, you know, printing off whatever's left of the color because they're going to do a color change, you get that sample, fill, you get that roll of filament. So you could end up with a whole roll like this. You can end up with half a roll of this and end up with a roll of another half a color. It varies from roll to roll. But if but for 13 bucks, how can you go wrong? Now, keep this in mind. I found it that this needs a hotter temperature to print at. I had to set my nozzle at 220 degrees Celsius. And I used to and set my layer height for 0.2. I also set my nozzle that after the first layer of 220 to drop it down to 215 and it seemed to work flawlessly every time so what are the items i printed well i'm glad you asked first one was a vase the vase was printed with a 0.2 layer height and it turned out really well i mean have a look at this color this color is gorgeous. I've not seen a color like this ever stand out. I'm going to try this on my Maker Coins. I'm going to make a couple of Maker Coins special. That's right. If you like this color, if you like my, if you want to get a Maker Coin, and I'm at one of the shows, ask me about the Coax Maker Coin. I'll display it, and you guys can have a look at it. But this red is just gorgeous. I'm really shocked that the layer lines don't show up. Like I'm getting a little bit of different coloring in the layers and it just makes this thing look so much brighter and gorgeous. Plus it's very translucent. So you can shine a light through this and make it look really nice. This is just what, this is one of my favorite prints so far. Let's talk about the dragon was also printed with a 0.2 layer height and was printed in three parts. The left wing and right wing were printed in, on, on the bed. And the body was printed on another time on the bed. This was printed exclusively on the CR-10. It was not printed on the Ender, where the vase was printed on the Ender. This thing came out beautiful. It very flexible in the, in the movements. And there's a little trick to getting it flexible, including the wings. So... When I printed this, I was a little worried because I wasn't too sure how the wings would fit in. But the wings were a little bit of a pain. But once you got them in, it just looked gorgeous. And I love this print. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this print because, well, this is probably entering my list of cool prints that you should print this while you're while you're in high while you're in the um, isolation. You know. 
can't have friends over, you can't do it, have family over, whatever, maybe you can start doing some printing. But this is really worth it. This is what I call the Pi Star. The Pi Star is the amateur radio link that allows us to connect to the internet and have a hotspot in our house so we can connect uh, to the internet and access all those DMR groups that are out there that are for digital radio. This will also work with D-Star, and it'll also work with um, P25, ISDN, and many and fu system fusion. Anything that's digital, this will work with it if it needs an internet connection. This print has been working great for me. I'm always monitoring my, my Pi Star to make sure it's not overheating. Ventilation works. This print is just works. As you can see, fairly simple print. Had a little bit of a problem trying to get the layer just down right, right there. But other than that, this thing has worked great. I'm not seeing it overheat. I'm seeing it set at a cool of, I think it was 25 Celsius to 30. But also I got a heat, I got a giant heat sink on this one. But all in all, this print is worth it. So, my final thoughts on coax filament. It's worth it. If it wasn't for how expensive it is for me to ship, for me to receive it, if I wanted to buy a couple rolls, at $99 US, I would get free shipping. So I'd have to buy 10 of these rolls to make it worth my while. It becomes a little bit expensive. Now, would I buy this film again? Definitely I would. I'm enjoying this. And I have more of their filament to test. Including, I got some sample rolls here that I'm going to be trying out. Including uh, their Pet G. I got a sample of their ABS, which I don't have an enclosure for. So I'm going to have to make an enclosure and... Either the ender put up like a big put trash bag over it and try printing with that and see how it goes. So at the end, I say give it a shot. It's worth giving them a try. If you like the content that I brought to you today, please hit the subscribe button. It does help if you're a new if you're new to the channel. The subscribe button just basically allows you to know allows me to know that you subscribe to the channel, helps grow the channel. But also what helps the channel is that like button. By clicking that like button, you are telling others that you recommend this video. And it does help the channel grow constantly. I'm hoping to do some more videos soon. It's just with COVID right now, or as I like to call it, human malware. And I will tag COVID-19 and human malware. Well, you know what I mean. I don't get paid to do these videos, so I don't have to worry about getting demonetized right now. So if you want to support the channel, there is Patreon and there is Streamlabs links in down below. But let me get back to what I was talking about. With everything going on right now, it's been really hard to get these videos out. Not because I'm stuck at home. It's because I'm busy printing other stuff for other people right now that need it. So getting reviews out, getting videos out has been a little bit tough. I don't have a video team editor. I don't have any of that. It's just me, myself, and I. So if I could afford a video editor, trust me, I would have one. But people, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And as always, Keep on printing and stay safe. Hope to see you here back here again very soon.